right. Here we are again. 4 a.m. Ain't been messing with this thing much lately. Had to round up a little bit of shit. But decided I'm gonna run a radiator so I can run it longer and keep more of a better heat cycle on it and shit. So I got this. This is a radiator, it's a, it's a aluminum welded radiator, it's for 90, uh, 93 to 97 LT1 F bodies, and got it for our 95 Trans Am, but it's just sitting around here, so cobble it into the situation I got that holes there I don't know what the fuck that thing's original application was it's just one I had around for fucking years might have been an Oldsmobile or something ain't no telling and the bottom holes is just a standard 78 to 83 Malibu 305 Regular old holes I got this one ready to fire up now Had to put some bull horns on these headers The collectors on these headers are they got a two and a half inch hole outlet. But I got me an adapter two and a half to three. Use these big fucking clamps. And this is a three inch. So put me some high temp silicone against the mating faces. So there's the exhaust. I was just going to let it rip out of the headers, but it was pointing awful close to that radiator, so I had to put these on it to divert it away from the fucking radiator. You can spin these around and Run them out the side of the fender of the car. Spin them around any way you want, but on here it's most convenient to point them straight up. Hell, a person could just run these fuckers, cut a couple of holes in your head, and run them straight out of your fucking head if you wanted to. Wouldn't recommend it, but. Yeah, I'm gonna run this with the radiator. Go ahead and bring it up to temperature and let it run longer. I just got this radiator jimmied in here. Shit laying around that just got an old dead ass battery to prop it up on. You get it up to about the right height. There's my start. Start button. These hoses. They snake in there pretty good. I don't know what the hell that hose was off of. Ain't much telling. I've had a lot of different kinds of engines. That ought to sound pretty funky. But ordinarily, I wouldn't like that going two and a half to a three 
But I remember some old Doug Thorley headers they made, and they had a name for it, but allegedly it helped scavenging and shit. Like, you know, pulled on it like a vacuum. So they actually made headers that had collectors like that that reduced and then opened back up. Looking into this shit though, I think I'm gonna get me a pe couple of pieces of angle iron. And this stand here, it's got this plate on it. I can fucking take me a measure out from the back of the dolly there all the way up to where the radiator needs to be. Might make it a little longer so I can run a fuel tank in front of the radiator. But make me a couple of angle, pieces of angle iron and drill some holes in here. And drill some holes in the angle iron and make it where I can just bolt the shit on when I want to fire one up on it. And then when I just need to store it, I can unbolt the the radiator support but that way I would have the radiator attached to the the dolly so she's all ready to fire up now got the distributor dropped got it pre-oiled and shit Clean as a pen. Got a temperature gauge. Mount it in there to keep an eye on shit. Pressure gauge just throwed up here. That's pretty on it. It had 90 pounds of oil pressure. Which after it runs, that'll come down to probably 80. But it's got a good oil pressure. It's got a, a badass Moroso oil pump in it. It's a real good one. High volume, high pressure. This is a seven quart pan. And you add another quart for filter, so it's eight quart capacity. But I don't run it at eight quarts. I run it at five quarts. That way you get the oil away from the crankshaft. Less windage, more horsepower. You don't want to, you know, you might have a fucking seven, eight quart oil pan, but that don't mean you want to run eight quarts in that son of a bitch. Because it gets that oil up close to the rotating assembly, and it whips that shit into a fucking frenzy, make it foam and shit, and it's like it wraps up on the rotating assembly, and it, it will take away horsepower. So, the idea is to get that fucking oil down away from the rotating assembly and then have windage trays and crank scrapers and shit in there to keep the oil off the fucking crank rods. But that kind of shit makes a difference. And you might pick up fucking dropping a couple of quarts, you go from seven quarts to five quarts, you might pick up 10 fucking horsepower. Got a locked out ATI, put a, a Dynamod fucking module in it, and it's a, a DUI coal 
another distributor. And it's locked out. No vacuum advance. I'm going to run it 34 to 36. Well, test it. Probably test it from 34 to 38. But it'll probably end up about 36. It's ready to run. Pulled my old trusty 850 double pumper off that other engine. Stuck it on here because I just had it running a few days ago, so I know it's good. These are stainless steel headers. Turbo headers. These are some of the better ones, I believe. These are PG Performance Motorsports. Leave what that says. But they're stainless steel, and I like how they got the fucking tubes. They didn't just run a tube straight up. They tried to equal them out, get them closer to equal length. And they're not exactly equal length, but they're closer than most. They're fucking well made. Got the V-band setups. So them are real easy to work with. These fucking bullhorns here. Which I bought them several years ago when I was collecting the shit from a turbo engine and the down pipes and them fucking things were like a hundred dollars a piece they were two hundred dollars for them two bullhorns fuck but they're real nice they're real nice I might even I got a pair of Flowmaster. Oh, fuck, I forgot what they were called. Uh, the glass pack type Flowmasters. Stick them on here just to see what they're gonna sound like. Plus, it'd be a little more bearable in this garage. This fucker here is gonna be. It's gonna bark a mean tune also. It's got a thump. It's got a pretty lumpy camshaft in it. It's got some compression. It's got some pretty good cylinder head flow. This 500 plus horsepower engine all day. It's in the back of my mind, I pretty much know about what it'll make. This ain't nothing new. This ain't rocket science. There's been fucking thousands and thousands of these things built, so anything you can build, somebody else done built it probably 5,000 fucking times, so ain't nothing new under the sun. I've been distracted lately. Ain't been fucking with this shit much. Just a little bit here and there. Not enough though. I got sidetracked on some other shit. But I'm back on this thing. If it wasn't four o'clock in the morning, I'd go ahead and fire some of a bitch off. Get to that tomorrow. Got the timing all set. Get out of fire right the fuck up. They always do. After the bolts fill up. There it is, 357.